Hey fans and subscribers, this is your host Joe. No intro music for this video. Are you frustrated with your Asus ROG Ally handheld after opening it up out of the box and turning it on? Are you finding that you have to press buttons multiple times for an action to take? Yeah, I came across these issues too when receiving my Ally handheld to use on the channel. I was concerned when I began using mine, thinking that I may have a defective one even. In fact, I had to connect a mouse and keyboard to begin using mine. Before you get into your car to return your new handheld to the store, watch this video a little longer and see if these steps help you because they certainly helped me optimize my handheld, having it perform exceeding my expectations. The source for this update is in the description. All right, right now I am on the desktop of my Asus ROG Ally, and the first area I would like to point your attention to for improving the experience on your handheld is here, the performance options, and you can just type in on the start menu P-E-R-F, and you will find the performance options here, not the performance monitor that is separate from this. Now, originally, initially, the let Windows choose what's best for my computer was set. And what I did was I selected adjust for best performance. The reason I did this is because the adjustment for best performance is going to be less taxing on the CPU and GPU the computer processing unit and the graphics processing unit, respectively. And especially, it's going to be less taxing on the memory of the machine, especially as well the video memory or the VRAM. The next area I would like to draw your attention to is Windows Update. Now, when I booted up my machine for the first time, I went to Windows Update, there were quite a few. There was a catalog of updates, and multiple restarts were required for installing these updates. And for any reason that Windows Update does not show that you have any updates available, you can left-click, I'm using a mouse right now, or touch with your finger, check for updates, and updates will appear here for you to download. You can also check this if you want to on so that you get the latest updates as soon as they are available, hence the text here. However, I like to manually go in and look at them from time to time, which is why I have that off. But for convenience, you may want that on. And there are some other options here that you can look at for customizing Windows Update on your handheld or just Windows 11 overall. The next area I would like to draw your attention to is the My Asus app. And this is installed by default on your machine. So you will not have to go and find this online and install it. You're originally going to be at home. So if you left click or touch customer support, you're going to see system diagnosis here but you can select here live update and you can check for updates if they are not already available and upon checking they will emerge here and as you can see i have in my update history that i've updated the firmware the bios to 319 and amd graphics driver to 31.0 here these following characters now i will say for the BIOS, upgrading to 319, version 319, is not necessarily recommended due to recent news and reports that 319 actually will degrade performance, especially with achieving higher frame rates with 9 watt on the CPU, APU, or power consumption instead of the version 317. So you may want to hold off on upgrading. If you see the prompt for 319, you may want to hold off on that, though I, I just went ahead and installed it since the degradation was not that significant based on what I found in the data. 
The next area I would like to draw your attention to is Armory Crate. Now, Armory Crate is going to, and it should become, it should first emerge when you boot into the OS after you authenticate, whether it's with a pen or with your fingerprint. If you set that up to use, you will see, if you have any games, you will see them here. But where you want to pay attention to is to go to Content, and with content, you then will go to Update Center. And you can check for updates. And I'm just left clicking here. Or you can touch check for updates with your finger. And there's going to be a loading screen here to look for the updates. We will give that just a moment. And as you can see, there are no updates for me. However, they would appear here, and you can left-click or touch for updating here and here. So while I have your attention looking at Armory Crate, I would like to draw your attention to the settings and the operating mode. This is where you can select how high your not CPU usage necessarily, but your clock speed is going to be on your CPU and GPU here. And this is going to be in turbo mode. And I actually have that selected. I'm, I'm connected to power and I prefer to run in turbo mode to get the most that I can out of my machine. So you do sacrifice battery life in doing that. However, you may find that you are in Windows instead of turbo or even in performance so depending on what you are doing on your machine you may want to be in turbo compared to windows i personally will run mine in turbo all the time as i mentioned but nothing against running it in windows if you are installing multiple programs you may find that you want to run your machine in turbo and performance is going to be a balance. So if you're monitoring the CPU or APU power consumption wattage from the CPU, APU, you're going to see here that, and I, I've seen this in gaming, you're going, the maximum you're going to hit is 25 watts. Whereas with turbo, I see from 27 to 30 watts with the occasional drop to 25. But the difference between performance and turbo is you have that five watt room to where if there is a need to push 30 instead of 25, you can do that compared to performance mode. Another area within Armory Crate you want to check, and this is going to be helpful with your gaming experience and in achieving higher frame rates, at least from what I have seen in comparisons with two games that I've, I've played more avidly than others on this machine. Those two games are Diablo 4 and Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I have found that selecting 8 gigabyte in this case or 8G is advantageous. Now, I believe that it starts it's either two or four that is the default. Forgive me, I'm not remembering that off the top of my head, but you can select eight, and I, I selected six by accident here. But upon selecting a different value, you will be prompted to restart. So as you can see, that reverted back to eight. So that is one area that you may want to pay attention to. And I would like to go back to settings. I would like to go back to operating mode one more time. You can adjust these manually if you want. You can create your own manual profiles. And here you have how much wattage can be drawn. You can adjust your SPL, SPS, SPPT, excuse me, FPPT. And again, SPL, this is the mode that we were talking about, 30 watts. And you can draw it back here all the way to 7, which is the lowest you can go. So if you're trying to achieve a higher battery life with what the 
CPU, APU is drawing. You can draw it all the way back to seven, but do note that your your performance on, especially with gaming, is going to be debased significantly. You can adjust your fan curve here as well. You can, this is, of course, there are two fans on the back. If you look at our video, the channel's video on opening up the back and installing an SSD, then you're, you will notice that there are two fans that are on the back of the machine, so you can adjust both of those individually. If you would like, you can name this mode and go from there. Though the engineers, Asus engineers, they have done a great job based on my experience with this machine. Another area in Armory Crate is the Eco Assist here. And I have this selected to off. And this can increase your battery life as well for the, the standby mode, if you are looking for that. Another area you may want to know about is the profile. Uh, if you sign into your profile within the Armory Crate User Center, you can also back up your device or select auto backup as well if you ever need to do a recovery. Though this does not increase performance on your machine, but it is something helpful to know about in the future if you need to use that. Let me take a moment though to detail what versions of software I have on my handheld. As of recording this video for June 19th, 2023, I have the following significant versions of software installed on my machine. For Armory Crate, I have version 1.2.10.0. You can find this information in Armory Crate. For RC71L, I have version 2.5.30.0. You can find this information in Armory Crate. For Aura Service, I have version 3.07.4. You can find this information in Armory Crate. For AMD Graphics Driver version 31.0.14058.4001, you can find this information in the My Asus app. For the BIOS upgrade utility for RC71L, I have version 1.319.0. This is titled BIOS 319. Even though you can go into the My Asus app to check for a BIOS update, my ROG Ally prompted me upon boot up to install a BIOS update. Hope this video helps you with your new Ally handheld. Subscribe to the channel if you have enjoyed this video and want to see more content on handhelds. That is the conclusion of this video. With that, in the words of Commander Shepard from Mass Effect, I should go.